Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. If you ever wanted to build a machine learning application, you would know that sometimes you have to wrap this entire machine learning application as an API. So for your application, you need front end and back end. Sometimes your front end could be non Python. For example, it could be React JS, it could be Angular JS, or it could be any JavaScript framework that you want to use while the backend being powered by Python. And most of the time people actually use APIs for it. The API is communicating to the front end and making calls to the server. And this is how the full stack application is going to look like. But traditionally, if you wanted to use an API, you need to do host it on a server and then use something like fast API and then get the API. So this is what we have been doing all the while. But today, or probably yesterday night, Gradio announced a new feature where you can use Gradio as an API. This has been there for a while. We probably would have discussed this in this channel as well. But now this has been revamped and then you have got use Gradio as an API as an option, which means you can now create a machine learning application, host it on Hugging Face Spaces, now use that as an API rather than a full stack application on any web application that you are going to develop. And to show this demo, I'm going to build a streamlit application, which is no way connected to Gradio, which is no way connected to Hugging Face, but this streamlit application, which is running on my local machine is going to be powered by that Gradio API, which we are going to see how to create in a short while. Let's get started with this Gradio API. First, I got to know about this announcement from Abubakar's tweet, and this is very simple. So at the end of a Gradio application, if you're running a Gradio application that is greater than 3.11, you're going to see a very small button at the bottom called use via API. And once you click that, you're going to get all the details. First, let me show you what is happening here in this application. This is a text to speech application, which is powered by Gradio API, which is hosted on Hugging Face Spaces. First, I have to go here and then enter a text. For example, I can literally copy this from Abubakar's tweet and uh, paste it, copy, come back, paste it, and then click the text to speech magic, which is a streamlit button. And then when I run this, to share radio's new use my API cage. Okay. Uh, we are not here to evaluate how the text to, to speech is working, but we can see that this is completely working fine. And this is right now working on my local machine. And now what does it mean? Let me take you inside the code and show you what is happening to quickly see what is happening. This is a very simple streamlit application, but the way this text to speech is happening is by making an API call to the API that is hosted on Hugging Face Spaces. Now let us identify how that is happening. Anytime you have a Hugging Face Space that is actually running greater than 3.11, go click the file version, click the readme and then see. So this SDK version is 3.11. So if any Gradio application that is hosted on Hugging Face Spaces that is greater than 3.11, you're going to see a very small icon at the bottom. So if I zoom in, you're going to see a very small icon that says use via API. And once you click that, it's going to take you to this very nice page. Like if you're familiar with Swagger, very Swagger like interface where you can see, okay, this is an API documentation for this space. And this is the endpoint. And for this endpoint, you have to make a post request. And this is your sample input payload. And this is your output response object. And this API documentation, Kudos to the team does not end here, but also gives you sample code for Python and JavaScript. So for Python, you can copy this code and literally run it. It's going to give you a result for JavaScript. You can copy this and add it to your React JS or Angular JS or whatever JavaScript framework that you are using. Given that we know how to see an API documentation for a particular hugging face spaces that is basically a Gradio application. Let's now take this and go to an API platform and then see how does it work. For that, I'm going to use something called Hopscotch. This is like an open source alternative for Postman if you're familiar with Postman. So what I've done here is I've copied the endpoint here. I've come to Hopscotch and I've pasted the endpoint. Now, whenever there is an endpoint, we need to make sure that is it a get request or is it a post request? So instead of get, I've selected post. And now we need to make a call. We need to make a call to the API endpoint using an input payload. So that is basically your text, which is ideally going to be converted into speech, which is going to be shown or displayed or responded back to you as a base 64 string, which is 
the base 64 encoded string of the audio. So I have gone here and then gone to the body and then said my data, the payload is like I want the base 64 for hello world. So or I can I can probably paste the same thing, whatever the message here is. You can copy this, come back here, paste the entire message. Okay, we have we have the call, we have the codes. So really stoked to share Gradio's new API. Let's stick to this. Now I can send, and when I send this thing, this hopscotch is going to help me send a call using this payload to this endpoint as a post request, which is a HTTP request. The good thing is we have got 200 response, which is success, which means the request that we made to the endpoint is successful and we have got a response. Right now, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense because this is a base 64 encoded audio. So I'm going to copy this just for us to understand and go to Google or wherever you want to and then search for base 64 to MP3. And I'm going to see base 64 to audio. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to click decode base 64 to audio. And then I'm going to play the audio. Do we have the audio here? Okay, I still don't see the audio here. Cannot decode, okay? I should use base 64 decoder. Decode base 64. Okay, the problem is because I had added the codes. Mm -hmm. That's a terrible mistake. Decode base 64 to really audio. To share radios, no API. Just API. Really stoked to share radios, no API. Cool. So now we know that this entire API thing works fine, which is what we verified using Hopscotch by making a call to the Hugging Face API endpoint using the input payload that we just gave the text. Here which says really stoked to share Gradius new API and then we got a base64 encoded string in response which we used a service base64.guru to convert into audio file so that we verified this entire thing works. So now what we are going to do is we are going to just simply go here copy the beautiful python code that the Gradius team has put together for us and we are going to merge it or we are just going to combine this to a streamlit application and that's the whole point of this video just to show that the back end and the front end can stay separately just like most full stack applications. So if you are a JavaScript developer and if you want to develop machine learning powered applications, this is exactly what you have to do. Not exactly, but this is one of the things that you can do. So now I'm going to go to my code editor, which in this case is VS Code and I've created a new folder, a project folder and I've got a file called app.py, which is a streamlit application. First, I have to import certain required libraries, which in this case is streamlit for full, full stack application development, a request for making HTTP calls, base64 just for encoding and decoding. Then we have got a very beautiful title that says text to speech powered by Gradio API hosted on Hugging Face spaces if you want to add. Then we are going to use streamlit's input component, text input to collect the input from the user, which is going to be stored in, in underscore text. The next thing is we have enabled, we have created a button called text to speech magic. So if you see our application, you can see text to speech magic. Like in case if you want to optimize it, like very, for example, let's say I want to do something like this um, with an icon, maybe this. Yeah, so we have a button that has text to speech magic, the text. And we are going to say, once you click the button, if the button is clicked, we had word, we are not specifying click here, but you know, that's what it means. Then we are going to use a progress bar or a spinner in this case. And we are going to just use the code that we just copied from the Gradio documentation. This code and we are making a call and the input payload instead of the hard coded text, we are going to use the input text that we got from the user. So that once we get the response, instead of being it being a response object, we are converting into a JSON and then we are storing it here. If you want, you can call it JSON response JSON as well. And then I can use that here. So now we need an audio player for that. We are going to simply use an HTML audio player. And this is a simple HTML tag. And to embed the audio base 64 encoded content inside it, we are using F string here. This is an F string, Python F string, and everything else is a string. 
and here you have got the python object which is response underscore json inside that data and inside the first object which is the base 64 encoded string and we have to also specify what type of audio content it is in this case it is audio slash flag that's a type and once you have the markdown or html you can just display the html using st.markdown do not use this in production because this is prone to cross-site scripting and all these kind of things so this is just for demo um, to show that you can have front end and back end separately altogether. So that's why it says unsafe allow HTML and we are enabling it true. Now save it. Once you save it, go to your terminal, click new terminal. And once you get the new terminal, you say streamlet run app.py. Once you do that, it is going to run this entire file to quickly summarize again. We have loaded required libraries. We have got a title, we have got a widget that collects input from the user, we have got a button. And once the button is clicked, we have we have a spinner that runs until we do all these things. In this case, make a post request to the hugging face spaces for the particular Gradio API and use that to embed an audio player and you know display to the user. So let me run this. Once I run this, it's going to give me the link where it is run. I can come back here once I run this you can see that the new button with with the lightning icon that we added is here and I can add something radio is amazing I just love it but streamlit is also equally amazing that's why this demo uses streamlit text click text to ma speech magic we have got the audio output Play. Gradio is amazing. I just love it, but Stremlet is also equally amazing. That's why this demo uses Stremlet. That's why this demo uses Stremlet. And now we have successfully managed to build a full stack machine learning application that does speech to text. The Stremlet application is Stremlet is the stack that is powering the full stack application, but the front end is Streamlit, but the back end, which is, you know, in this case, Streamlit but makes call HTTP calls using an API to a Gradio application and that Gradio application is hosted on Hugging Face Spaces and that's the power of open source. Now what you can do is you can host your model on Hugging Face, build a Gradio application on top of it, host it on Hugging Face Spaces and then use that API to build um, any kind of application whether it is a curl command, whether it is a HTTP request or if you are building an R shiny application now you can use it anywhere in any programming language because it's just an API call which is quite possible in any programming language. So you're not bound only by Python and whatever you want to do. And that is why we used Streamlit to show that power say where we have a Streamlit application that makes API calls to the Gradio API. I hope this video was helpful to you. Once again, kudos to the team for making this amazing new or enhanced APA option using radio but if you have any other question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in the next video peace